Before moving on, let's go over the airport traffic pattern or flow of airplanes around the airport. We'll begin by identifying the various parts or legs of a left-hand traffic pattern. A left-hand pattern is considered standard and should be used unless specified otherwise for an airport. The departure leg is the direction the airplane is flown on takeoff. The airplane is on the crosswind leg when it's flown at a 90-degree angle to the landing runway and off its takeoff end. You're on the downwind leg when you fly parallel to the landing runway but in the direction opposite to landing. The base leg is flown at a 90-degree angle to the landing runway and off its approach end. The airplane is on the final approach leg when it is aligned with the landing runway and therefore heading into the wind. When it comes time to depart the pattern, first climb on the departure leg straight ahead. After reaching pattern altitude during the climb, you can then continue to fly straight ahead or make a 45-degree turn in the direction of the pattern to depart the area, which would be left for standard traffic patterns. There are several ways to enter the traffic pattern when returning to the airport. The most common method is to enter on a 45-degree angle to the midpoint of the downwind leg and then continue on to the downwind, base, and final legs. We'll cover traffic pattern entry procedures in more detail later in the course. In the U.S., most airports use the Federal Aviation Administration approved system to mark runways and taxiways. This assures safety and consistency for pilots flying into any airport. Runway numbers are determined from the approach direction. The runway number is the runway's magnetic direction rounded off to the nearest 10 degrees and dropping the last zero. A compass rose consists of 360 degrees. Each direction is referenced to the north, so northeast is 45 degrees, east is 90 degrees, southeast is 135 degrees, and south is 180 degrees, and so on until we come full circle back to 360 degrees or due north. Runway 36, for example, would be used for taking off and landing approximately to the north and have an actual magnetic direction of anywhere from 355 to 005 degrees. The runway number is different at each end of the runway because they're 180 degrees apart. So the runway number for taking off and landing approximately due south is 18. A runway to the east would be 9 and its reciprocal to the west would be 27. If an airport has parallel runways, they still have the same number but are further identified by letters. The letter L means left, the letter C means center, and the letter R means right. Thus, you could have runways 4 left, 4 center, and 4 right. Also, because runway numbers are magnetic, the runway heading should agree with the magnetic heading displayed in the airplane, plus or minus 5 degrees. Airplanes are happiest in the air, and in the next section, you're going to see just how anxious the airplane is to take off.